was um, very election motivated, and um, and we did expect, for what it's worth, that um, we were going to get this lawsuit. Saw is one of 16 states that has filed a lawsuit against the Biden administration over immigration policy. Just this week, the courts put the brakes on a program intended to provide a pathway to citizenship for immediate relatives of U.S. citizens. Five News reporter Jose Carranza learned how the decision is impacting Arkansans and their loved ones. The Biden administration refers to the Parole in Place program as its Keep Families Together plan. It was set to help an estimated 500,000 non-citizen spouses, but with this lawsuit, their road to residency could be pushed back years. Announced in June, President Biden's Keeping American Families Together plan was set to help U.S. citizens and their non-citizen immediate families stay together. Any non-citizen without legal status has to process their residency outside of the country, but this program would have let them do so without leaving U.S. soil. Attorney Susan Duell says this would have resolved a resource issue as applicants need provisional waivers to leave the country. Otherwise, when they leave the country to get their visa, they would not be allowed in. They're not admissible at that point. Therein lies what, what the Biden administration was trying to resolve is those waivers take three to four years to process. Um, and just because there's just not enough um, resources um, within the federal government to process all of those waivers. The Biden administration now faces legal challenges over this program, facing a lawsuit from 16 states, including Arkansas. Days after the filing, a Texas federal judge paused the policy with an administrative stay. In a statement, Attorney General Tim Griffin said the administration is attempting to unilaterally rewrite federal law concerning who is eligible for a green card and eventual citizenship. Congress has already spoken on this issue and Biden must enforce the law as written. It was um, very election motivated and um, and we did expect for what it's worth that um, we were going to get this lawsuit. Mireya Reith of Arkansas United is an immigration advocate who's been involved in state and national immigration law. For Reith, the program was a step forward in addressing the nation's immigration system and this lawsuit a step back. For folks who are doing otherwise everything possible to be taxpayers, um, to be good members of our communities, to send those kids to school, to give them American dreams so that they're helping their families and the economy and the economy of all Arkansans. Unfortunately, they live life with a lot of fear um, because um, everything has been happening so slowly. And Both Reith and Duell say there is a way for this program to prevail. It's already been set by president. Just this time, the requirement for a spouse isn't a U.S. citizen, but a military member. They have a parole process for those as well that has um, been challenged and been upheld. In a statement, President Biden said the federal judge's ruling is wrong. These families should not be needlessly separated. They should be able to stay together, and my administration will not stop fighting for them. The administrative stay is in place for 14 days from the August 26th order. That means PIP applications cannot be approved through September 9th. Duell does add that families could continue to file an application with an immigration lawyer, but applicants risk losing their filing fees if the program doesn't continue. Jose Carranza, 5 News.